Today, we will talk about general public distribution and how it works. In finance, general public distribution refers to a private company becoming a publicly traded company by selling its shares to the public at large. This is different from a conventional public distribution, where shares are sold mainly to institutional investors. The process of a private company's shares being sold to the public for the first time is known as its initial public offering. If the IPO involves selling to a large pool of investors, whether retail or large funds, that would be a general public distribution. By contrast, if the IPO caters primarily to large and sophisticated investors, it would be considered a conventional public distribution. Let's consider XYZ Corporation, a technology company planning to fund its expansion plans. It decides on an IPO to raise funds and must choose between a general public or conventional public distribution. Ultimately, the type of IPO may lead to similar results in the medium and long term, as once shares are sold in the primary market, they are then traded among investors in the secondary market. Here are three key takeaways. 1. A general public distribution is the process of selling privately held shares to public stockholders for the first time. 2. It allows privately owned companies to become publicly traded, which can help them raise capital and generate liquidity for their early investors. 3. Once sold, the newly issued shares are then actively traded among investors in the secondary market. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.